Yeah, played everywhere on the football field. Punt returner, quarterback, did it all. Could you have done that here? Thank you. I think I could have. I think I could have. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I came around this week, uh, Coach Dye was going around saying they needed scout team receivers for this week. Said, you, you got one in the building. <laughs> Come find me, I'll help out in any way I can. When did you start long snapping? Uh, oof, probably to 10, 10 years ago or so. Just at a you know a small camp somewhere, and some guy was you know doing something I'd never really seen before. He was just throwing a ball between his legs, and I kind of looked at it. I was like, that seemed pretty cool. It looks like a pretty cool thing to do, and picked it up and started learning about it then. Probably I was 11 years old and been doing it kind of ever since. What about the guys that are going to have to replace you? I mean, how ready are they? Oh, they're going to be they're Kyle and JP. You know, whichever one of them wins the job is going to, you know, they're going to be in, you guys are going to be in great hands. Whoever the punter is next year is going to be in great hands. Holder's going to be in great hands. Kicker, it's all going to be, you know, Nick. I Nick did a great job leading it in for me, and I hope that I'm doing you know just as good of a job leading it in for Kyle and JP to, you know continue on you know a, a pretty good legacy of good long snappers that West so Virginia's had. That's going to be a legit competition then? You think? I think so. I think it's going to be a really good competition and you know competition brings out the best in everyone. You know some people want to run away from it but you know those two no they're going to they're going to go at it and it's going to it's going to be great. What are some when specific did, things you learned from Nick uh, that you, you can recall? Oh work ethic. I mean Nick Meadows is, you ask any person in this building, Nick Meadows is one of the hardest workers to come out of, come out of, you know, West Virginia in general. I mean, he's a, he's a strength GA now, and he's, you know, he gets here before, you know, sometimes even, even the boss. He's here, he's working, he's the one who taught us how to, to refine our craft, to make sure that we're, you know, we're, you may be doing enough, but sometimes you got to do a little bit more than that. Is there a thing with practicing long snapping that you can't burn yourself out like being a quarterback, not throwing it too much? Do you have to be efficient in your work? Yeah, you do have to be efficient. And then there's also the times where you, you, you know, if you over, like, like you said, a quarterback, if you over, if you over snap and you start, you know, maybe you're getting a little fatigued, you can start developing bad habits, which is something with us, you know, one mistake, one tweak in, in anything that you do is, you know, isn't going to be good. When did the thought cross your mind that you might be able to do this in the NFL? Uh, this summer, you know, this summer was a was a big time for me, and was uh, you know, everything going into senior year. You know, I just thought, you know, this will be my last, you know, last time playing football. It'll be great, and then I'll, you know, continue on. I want to I want to be a high school history teacher afterwards. So I was like, okay, I got to start looking for for jobs, got to you know all that stuff. But you know, this summer it, it really picked up for me, and it's been great ever since. What will when the season ends? What will it be like for you to try and get to that stage I mean what oh I'm I'm excited you know just what uh going through the I've you know I've talked to Nick Meadows a lot with it because he went through it and we're you know I'm going to start training and and you know doing everything that I can to make sure that I I put myself in the best position for it it's hard to find a coach though isn't it for long snapping I mean, you know. oh yeah well it's it's for hard to find the right one there's a lot of them, but it's hard to find the right one. And you know, I think that I I found the right one in, in Coach Selter, and in, in, uh, and I think that he's going to put me in the best position that I can to uh, to go on. A lot of guys go to you know kids go to college to get away from their parents, but you kind of you know came back to your dad. Do you do you see your dad a lot? Do you? I see. You know, it's it's uh, in the spring I do. Not right now because he's you know he's got his own stuff to deal with. He's got his own team. He's got his own everything. I you know. I don't live at home. I, I live in my own apartment. I got, you know, I have a dog I got to take care of. So it's, it's, uh, I, I see him, I see him, you know, whenever he's in town or whenever we're, we have a free moment, we'll go and grab lunch or something and, and everything. But it's, we have, a, a, you know, we don't see each other every day. What was Saturday like for you guys? It was emotional, you know, a lot of hard, to, hard work put in here, a lot of, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of everything, you know, it was, it was really important too that my mom and my grandparents and my sister were there too. You know, that my mom was uh, my mom was out on the field, so was my sister, and uh, and that was that was really really important.